first we want to make sure that all the slide outs are in the end position. Make sure you don't have people moving around inside the coach and throwing off the weight balance. Our first step here is to turn the motor on and set your emergency brake. Next we'll come over here to our electronic keypad for the leveling system and we want to make sure we turn it on. Select the auto function and that will automatically start to level your coach. When it gets through and it's automatically leveled, if you feel that you need to go through and touch it up just a little bit, you can come over here and select manual. We have the different arrows right here. We have front, right, rear, and left. Now all the jacks are gonna run in pairs. So if you hit your front button here, your front two jacks are gonna go down. The rear button will run the rear jacks. The right button will run the right side front and rear jacks and the left side button will run the front and rear left side jacks. Now you want to run the jacks down until this little yellow arrow stops blinking. That will level it up from right to left. And then you run your front jacks down and left side jacks down and rear jacks down to make sure that all of these arrows light up when you're using the manual operation. Once you've used the automatic function of the jacks, you will notice that you will have your power on, have the auto button selected. It will show you that your jacks are in the down position and then the logo in the center of the jack pad here will light up to indicate that the coach has been leveled. If you're using the manual function of the electronic leveling system, you will want to make sure that your power is on, that the manual button is selected, and then you will be able to manually run each pair of jacks down until these arrows at the ends, lights go away and your level indicator is blinking in the center here. It will also show you that your jacks are down, whether or not you have low voltage, if your parking brake is engaged, or if you're at an excessive angle when the coach is leveled. If for some reason you need to reset this jack pad, you want to push down on the front, left, rear, and right buttons at the same time and hold them down for five seconds until all the lights blink and that will reset your jack pad. When you're set up and you're ready to leave camp to head home, you want to make sure that you turn your jack pad on and then select retract all jacks. Once all the jacks have been retracted, your jacks down light will turn off and you'll be able to drive. If the need ever arises to be able to manually retract your jacks, there is a way to be able to do that. All of our hydraulic jack pumps, reservoirs, motors are gonna be located in an exterior storage compartment, usually right behind your entrance steps. So right in here, we have our motors for our jacks, the solenoids for the front jacks, the solenoids for the rear jacks, the hydraulic fluid reservoir, and this is where you're gonna go through and manually override the jack system. So right back here, there's a black and gray wire with a plug on it. You wanna make sure that you go through and unplug that wire. Before you go through and start manually retracting the jacks, after you unplug that wire, you want to go back inside the coach and see if the jacks will retract through the keypad. If they don't retract through the keypad, here's the steps to be able to manually raise your jacks. Right over here, you have a power cord going from your motor to the solenoid. It's a half inch nut. You want to back that off with a ratchet or a wrench and take this wire off. This will allow you to be able to manually turn the jacks and raise your jacks up. Right here we have the solenoids for the front jacks. Okay, we have four solenoids on this motorhome. We have the two for the fronts and the two for the backs on the rear. What you're gonna wanna do is take an Allen wrench and open this solenoid all the way to the clockwise position. You're gonna wanna open this solenoid all the way to the clockwise position at the same time. And then we have a rubber cap right here that's gonna go through, you take that off. We have a half inch nut in here, and you will use a ratchet system or a socket wrench on a drill driver and manually bring your jacks all the way into the up position. Once you check and make sure the front jacks are all the way in the up position, you're gonna to wanna to close these solenoids by turning them counterclockwise until they're all the way closed. You will repeat the process on these back solenoids by using your Allen wrench and opening them all the way to the clockwise position and then running your jacks here with your half inch nut driver and run the jacks all the way into the up position. Once you go through and make sure that those jacks are all the way up, you will then close the rear two solenoids by turning the Allen key all the way counterclockwise. After you get your jacks all the way up, you're gonna to wanna to go through and reconnect this power cable using your half inch nut here. And then after you reconnect power to this solenoid, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the black and white wire and reconnect that as well. Again, I'm Steve Simkowiak with Forest River Gas Class A Motorhome Division. If you have any other questions, please look us up online at forestriverinc.com.